Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the Radio Masters T8 Pro. It is a compact game controller style, multi-protocol, hall sensor gimbaled, 2.4 gigahertz, 16 channel remote control transmitter with full OpenTX support. So taking a closer look, we see that it has a quick release folding 1.7 inch LCD display screen. It's got all of the navigational buttons built right in. They are the systems button, the return button, page forward, page back, the model button, up, down, enter buttons, and the two four-way trim buttons. Welcome to OpenTX, throttle warning. The backlit LCD screen displays the familiar OpenTX pages in the shade or in the dark, and it is clearly visible in sunlight as well. It slides right out if you want to remove it. And a protective cover is provided. So once you have your model selected, it can be used with it removed. It has a 10 pin interface and as far as I can tell, it does not support an external RF module. As a matter of fact, it only has the internal RF input selection in the setups page. The remote controller itself feels really nice in the hands, has textured hand grips and a flip out finger rest, which makes it very comfortable whether you are a thumber or a pincher. Up on top is the four programmable low profile toggle switches. There are two two position switches and two three position switches. We have a dust cover covering up the USB-C port for charging the built-in 3.7 volt, 1000 milliamp battery. They are actually two 3.7 volt, 500 milliamp size batteries. Batteries are good for about six hours once fully charged and the USB-C port can also be used for simulators such as liftoff. We have the spring-loaded micro SD card slot. Now an SD card is not provided, so you will need to supply one yourself and download the SD card contents. Full OpenTX sound and scripts are supported. We have the trainer port on the other side. And in the middle, we have the do-it-yourself antenna interface. Now, I've already done the pigtail mod, but you can purchase the do-it-yourself kit or use a UFL pigtail coax cable so you can use an external antenna instead of the antenna that comes with it. No soldering is required since it uses the UFL IPX interface. Now, I would suggest modding the antenna so you can use a higher gain antenna or even use a 2.4 gigahertz signal booster to maximize signal strength instead of using the built-in antenna. Welcome to OpenTX. In the front, we have the Radio Master logo, which lights up. We got the power switch. We have the net strap hook, a battery life indicator LED lights, and the gimbals. 
Now the gimbals are the quad ball bearing hall sensor gimbals and the gimbal sticks are two piece CNC aluminum sticks with the popular three millimeter threading. So if you want to adjust the height or switch them out, it is easy to do so. It's got some CNC metal gimbal panels and the toggle switches have CNC anodized switch nuts. So the TA Pro is a very well made 16 channel compact remote controller with the CRF 2500 multi protocol chip with two built in 500 milliamp replaceable batteries. Now the multi protocol chip supports Corona, FR Sky D8 and the D16 protocols, high tech, hot, radio link, SFHSS and more. It comes with the hall sensor gimbals, the do it yourself antenna interface, and the quick release folding display has full open TX support and it comes in at roughly 281 grams. To use the T8 Pro for a computer simulator such as liftoff, make a new model but first set the channel mapping to TAER in the systems page. Turn the internal RF to the off position in the setups page. Calibrate the sticks in the calibration page in the simulator. You now can safely practice FPV on your computer. Here I have it bound to the Emacs Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle with the D8 protocol built-in receiver. We have the Happy Model Crux 3 with an external XM Plus receiver and the Eqin Tyro 119 and this one has the Radio Master R161 telemetry receiver. And just like a full-size transmitter, you can use the LUA script to change parameters using the radio when using a telemetry receiver. So we will test it out first with the rubber ducky antenna and fly all three quads. Then we'll fly them again with the 2 watt booster attached. To attach the 2 watt booster, simply screw it on. Screw on the antenna to the booster and power source the booster. All right guys, so here we go with the Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2. I just got the rubber ducky antenna, no booster. So let's go and check this thing out. So here we are out in the field, sitting in my shade. took off from that table there so we're gonna go this way and check out the RSSI hitting the road at 60 70 oh when I made that turn it went up to 70 here we go on this way RSSI low now so I'm still going there's a hundred 
and a 50 meter bush at 60, 50. So I'll turn back. A beautiful day here. And as I get closer to the car, we're hitting about high 70s, low 80s. It really doesn't make a huge difference if you mod the antenna and use a rubber ducky antenna or whatever antenna. But it does make a difference because you can position your antenna instead of the built-in antenna laying down sideways. So be careful when you fly it without the modded antenna to the left side of the transmitter and to the right side of the transmitter is the weakest signal area. So avoid those two areas. So either fly in front of you, on top of you, or behind you if you are going to fly with the built-in antenna. That'll be the strongest signal area. So uh, I'm getting the RSSI low voice prompt again. All right, so let's go ahead and land this thing and check it out with the 2 watt booster. There we go. All right, guys, so here we go with the Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2 with the 2 watt booster. Let's see how far it'll go this time. Does it make a difference? All right, looks like it does. We're in the 80s. Low 80s, high 70s, down to the 60s, and here we go, 70s, 60s, 150 meter bush, and we are right at low 70s, dipping down to even the 50s, but it's right about low 70s, sometimes high 70s. So yeah, you do that do-it-yourself mod so you can choose the antenna that you want to use on this T8 Pro. And when you do that, you are able to even put a 2-watt booster to increase your range. So you can even fly further. And if you are flying in a dense area, your signal will be stronger. So even with the Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2, I am able to go pretty far. So if you want a real compact radio transmitter, remote control, as I like to call it. Yeah, this is a pretty good remote control to buy compact I really like the fact that you can just shove it in anywhere it fits you don't have to carry an extra bag just to carry your transmitter all right I'm gonna bring it in for a landing Very nice. Nice. All right, so here we go with the Happy Model Crux 3 with just the rubber ducky antenna. This one has the XM Plus receiver. The Tiny Hawk Freestyle 2 had the D8 protocol receiver that's built in to the flight controller. So let's go and check this one out. As you can see, it does a lot better. To the road, we are still hitting the 90s. And making that turn. VTX, however, kind of sucks. So we are still in the 80s and now in the 70s, I'm gonna turn around I'm losing video once in a while, but here, 
Here is the 150 meter bush turning around over it. And we are still in the high 80s, high 70s, low 80s actually. So there we go. That makes a big difference with what kind of receiver you are using. So you are able to go pretty far with just a rubber ducky antenna. And this quadcopter, man, the Happy Model Crux 3 is just freaking awesome. If you don't have one of these, I highly recommend that you guys get one. Just use as a two cell battery. And you can mount the Insta360 Go on it as well. All right, so let's go ahead and bring it in. And test it out with the booster. All right, so here we go with the Happy Model Crocs 3. Now I got the two watt booster installed, so let's check it out. Oh yeah, nice, even hit 99 and it is just staying there, oh that is awesome, look at that, VTX sucks again, here's the 150 meter bush, and we are meandering above 90 on the RSSI with the XM Plus. Too bad I can't go any further because of the VTX, but as you can see, putting that 2 watt booster makes a hell of a lot of difference here on this tiny quark up there. You probably don't need to do that. You probably won't go too far flying this thing around because this is just a small park flyer. Just an awesome little quark out there. Yeah, a little bit of uh, vibrations. My props are a little bent up. So it's kind of used props here. Oh yeah. Well, look at that RSSI, huh? Pretty impressive. Let me go behind the car and see what happens. Yeah, it's going down to the 70s. I'm losing video before anything else. Once again with this one, with the built-in video transmitter with that copper wire as an antenna. Yeah, makes a lot of difference. So even though you are getting this tiny little game controller like transmitter radio or remote control, the wrong button okay turn off that voice prompt the timer yeah so even though you're getting this tiny compact game controller style remote control you can still get the range of a larger transmitter by simply doing a little antenna mod and hooking up a 2 watt booster. Best way to increase range. Cheapest way. There you go. Alright. Alright guys, so here we go with the Tyro 119 with just the rubber ducky antenna. Just acquired six satellites so I can go ahead and arm. And here we go. This one has the Radio Master R161 receiver, the telemetry receiver. And look at that. It's in the 70s, 60s, now in the 50s. And here is the 150 meter bush. 
it is right at high 50s low ooh, even down to the 40s at one one time yeah so right around there 40s 50s and 60s so actually so far the xm plus receiver did the best so if i go away from myself this way and i do have gps rescue turned on so let's go and check it out this way i'm in the 50s let's see how far i can go remember oh there you go rx loss i got it back remember i'm sitting on the opposite side of the car so the car is between the quadcopter and myself so we didn't go that far so let's go and check it out in the open field i'll go straight ahead So taking a look at myself once again and before you attempt this if you got GPS make sure that the arrow is pointing towards yourself when you circle around yourself to make sure you got the home point registered so there you go I'm sitting right here so I'm gonna go this way which is the open face the car is behind me the car cop is in front of me so RSSI in the 40s and let's see how far it goes that should be about 400 meters yeah 460 and RSSI still at 40 50 with the radio masters R161 receiver i'm not going to push it beyond the street and it is saying oh rx loss and i got it back momentary loss so that's about it guys there's somebody chilling out right here and those are the three humps of dirt somebody threw away a long time ago it's still here and and myself here and this clock cut is just amazing do it yourself Car cutter. Very reasonable in price. I think they still sell these. So let's go ahead and put the booster and see if it makes any difference. So I do suggest if you get the T8 Pro or the T8 or whatever, um, yeah, do that antenna mod. It doesn't take much because the connector interface is UFL it's just plug and play screw it on and you got the pigtail either way if you buy the kit by radio master or you just buy the pigtail yourself if you buy the pigtail yourself you can buy the heavy duty kind the kind that I got I'll leave a link down below so you can check that out as well all right so let's put on a booster and see how far it can go all right guys so here we go with the tyro 119 and i got the two watt booster installed so let's go ahead and check it out i got nine satellites so make sure it is established the home point okay the arrow is constantly pointing in my direction so we are good to go nine satellites so let's go and check it out Wow, look at this. With the XM Plus, I was getting 90s. With the R161, look at that. It is a dismal 60 something 70 at the 150 meter bush. Wow. With the booster, I'm going down to the 50s. Oh, going back up. 
to the 60s, 70, but it is right about there, 450 meters, and it is at 50 something, oh, down to the 40s, 50, So no RX loss yet. And heading back towards myself. Still at about 50. Now it's going up to the 60s. So maybe it did make a little difference. But not a whole lot of difference. On the Radio Master R161 receiver. Okay, going up to the 80s now, coming right on top of myself, 90s, okay, let's go on this way, behind myself, and see when it fail safes. Down to the 50s, the 40s. RSSI low. Oh, RSSI low. And I have very little video. Okay, I got video back. Woo! One thing bad is I almost lost the quad copter, but there was no fail safe, so that is good. But one thing I didn't do was put a GPS return to home switch because the TA Pro here we have four switches only and I've got all of them assigned to like a buzzer and whatnot which I should have canceled out and put a GPS return to home switch on a on that switch that I assigned it to the buzzer but you know what somehow i skipped that process and i almost regretted it just right now so it does make a difference to how far you can go i lost video and i couldn't see anything so i'm not gonna go behind the car this time i'm gonna go to the side so i have video 350 at 55 or 50 RSSI and I still got video going this way so we're at 500 meters and that's there's the school I don't think I've ever flown above the school okay the video is slightly going in and out so we are still at 50 something at 800 something meters which is darn good all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in. <laughs> so it does make a difference with a two watt booster. I did not have any fail safe situation as I've done without the two watt booster and with just a rubber ducky antenna. So definitely a worthwhile do it yourself mod. And here we go. 150 meter bush and my test location all right guys so i think that'll do it for this video of the radio master t8 pro the compact remote control with the quick release LCD display screen, built-in battery, hall sensor gimbals, and the most important, the do-it-yourself antenna interface. So you can go ahead and put a pigtail on there and choose the antenna that you want. And I highly recommend you do that. Even though it's a rubber ducky antenna, I do believe it will be better than the, the built-in antenna that is laying down sideways inside the transmitter and of course you can do the 2 watt booster mod 
like I have done here to increase range. All right. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.